Hi, hello. Um, so I uh, just wanted to quickly explain this project, which we've done with, uh, in collaboration with Google Japan called the World Wide Maze. So um, the brief to us at the beginning was that um, they wanted to do something to introduce the Chrome for uh, mobile. Um, that was something new to the mix of the whole Chrome browser family I know you guys are familiar with. And um, so we wanted to create something, again, uh, if somebody listened to our uh, speech a little earlier, you know, we always love to kind of go back to our clients saying, let's not do any sort of advertising type things, but let's start from thinking about entertaining entertainment products that we can build together, which actually through playing them or experiencing them really tells and talks about the brand. So um, from that starting point, we started to think about, you know, what, uh, what can we really do to explain explore and almost demonstrate the power of the Chrome browsers. And uh, we soon figured out that even though Chrome mo for mobile is really powerful, it's still very limiting to uh, what it can do. It's, it's only on the smartphones and there's only so much, you can't really you know, see WebGL and do crazy stuff on there. So we really focused on this one function that was called the Tab Sync, which was introduced to Chrome for mobile, which actually allows you to connect with your PC Chrome uh, really fast. It's just one click of the button and you're synchronized with what you're seeing on the PC screen. So that led to us to think about an entertainment that utilizes the multi-screen experience. And the uh, idea that we had was what if you could actually uh, transform the whole internet into a playground and play that using your mobile phone. So the World Wide Maze idea um, sprung up, which was about transforming every single website that you could search on Google and transforming it into this 3D maze, which you could control with your smartphone like this. Uh, I think the video kind of does a good trick of explaining, probably better than me. Um, and it was a part of the Chrome experiment as well at the end. Um, so this was the landing page. Uh, lots of WebGL. So again, if we only use the smartphone, I think the experience couldn't become richer than what it was in the smartphone. But by connecting those two, we were able to do a much richer experience. So you just saw the Google web page transform into 3D Maze. So we made this program that automatically um, reads the background color, um, knocks it out, transform it all into 3D, and create all these weird layers, um, which you could actually roll the ball and play around in. So it's kind of embodying the fact that uh, Google, you know, it's all about open internet, and you, know, you could figure out different new ways of uh, interacting with it, so it was just an interesting kind of content. And it did really well in terms of introducing Chrome. I think the download rate really uh, bumped up for the Chrome for Mobile. Not only that, you know, people kind of hacked this and started to use it to promote their own sort of website. So check out my blog with the 3D Maze and play it if you get a high score. You know, for e-commerce sites, they actually use it for discounts and stuff. So again, it was a really interesting platform that we were able to create uh, based off of a advertising brief, and you can still play it at uh, chrome.com slash maze, so please have fun later on. Thank you so much. Oh.